G'day gang, Game Molly Gear Dan here. How you going? We're back in the Elder Scrolls Online, and we're gonna go through the portal to Sturk. Let's go. Sturk, though claimed at times by Valen Wood of the Gold Coast and Hammerfell, the island of Sturk is really a no man's land. If it belongs to anyone, it's the pirates of the Ab Abessian, Abessian Sea, who use Sturk's alien ruins as arenas for settling disputes through trial by combat. Abe Abessian? 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 <laughs> Google time. Alright, Vanus Galerian. Welcome to the island of Sturk. Representatives from all three alliances are gathering at the meeting place. It's just up ahead, through the ruins. Have the, alli <laughs> Have the alliance leaders arrived? I'm told they'll be arriving at the meeting site by portal any moment. After all the bloodshed in Cyrodiil, I fear the leaders won't be quick to trust one another. Perhaps you can help them see the wisdom in cooperation. I'll do my best. I don't envy you the task. We've already assembled quite a team of experts for the Cold Harbor invasion itself. I'll try to introduce you to some of them on the way to the meeting. Lead on. Right. Two kings and a queen with barely a thimble of patience between them. Reaching a compromise will be no small task, I promise you. Okay, I hear what you're saying. Let's go, let's move. Third. Look! It's Lady Laurent! What do you want? Lady Laurent, here we go. Hey. Careful with that, you clumsy fool. Do hurry <laughs> it up. We're missing everything. <sighs> I never weary of your charms, Lady Laurent. That is Galarian as I live and breathe. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I had no idea the summit was to be held on the legendary island of Sturk. It seemed a fitting choice. It was here that the leaders of the First Era assembled the All Flags Navy to do battle with the Slode. I can't wait to see what surprises Molag Ball's realm has in store for us. We are waging war, not embarking on a sightseeing expedition, milady. Fear not, Vanus. I can take care of myself and my useless lump of a manservant. Stibbins, haven't you finished tying those bags yet? Oh, you really are hopeless. Farewell, milady. We must dash. We're expected at the summit. Oh, I'm so glad they're here. Hey, Stibbins. <laughs> How you going, buddy? But please, don't, don't distract me. If I don't finish packing, Lady Laurent will give me quite the talking to. Oh, no. And I'm sure you wouldn't enjoy that, would you? You again? I see you're still sticking your nose into other people's affairs. Well, if you're here to help, I'm not going to turn you away. Oh, these two. Absolute crack up. Reino Vanos. Wonderful. It's Tellinger. Here's Tellinger, the artificer himself. Must it always take a crisis to pull you away from your toys, Telly? Vanos, your robes smell of failed experiments and your words of failed wit. Tell me, Telly, what Dwemer rubbish pit did you crawl out of this week? You really must learn to respect your betters, old friend. Do let me know when one happens by, won't you? I don't have the time or the energy, Tellinger, so I'll bid you good day. <laughs> He's having none of it. All right, we'll keep going. The captain in charge of security, Alfari, is over there. Captain Alfari, has the island been secured? Aye. All ships in the area have been diverted away from the island, and the wards are in place. And the Alliance leaders? They'll be here any moment. You three should get over there as soon as you can. We're on our way. Thank you, Captain. We must make haste. There's a familiar face over there. Darian, still eating the bread, eh? It's good to see you again, my friend. Yep, and you, mate. Scored over the knife. I remember you. I probably wouldn't be standing here today if it weren't for your help. Thanks. <laughs> he doesn't sound doesn't too happy about that. 
Once we get to Cold Harbor, it will be open season on Daedra. Yep, I hear what you're saying, Sarge. Don't remember the other ones, but definitely remember those two from our travels. Especially Darian. From our multiple adventures. High King Emmerich of the Daggerfall Covenant. Queen Iran of the Old Merry Dominion. Yoren Skald King of the Ebonheart Pact. We must put aside our differences and work together, or this assault is doomed from the start. How do we know this isn't a ruse? A clever plan to divert our forces while your armies take the Imperial City. I thought backstabbing was your favorite tactic, Emmerich. Please, are you both so arrogant? Your weapons are children's toys compared to the horrors that Molag Baal commands. I will not wager the future of my people on the word of a snow barbarian and an adolescent female. I fear for Tamriel's future if either of you were to sit upon the ruby throne. Since when do you care about your people? You never lift a finger except to count your gold. Please, my lords, this bickering is pointless. What a waste of time. Obstinate fools, both of you. What a mess. Apologies, Venus, but I'm going to check on my lion guard. Well, that... that went well. This is going about as well as I expected, unfortunately. How can we make them see reason? Even if we can get them to stop bickering, they'll never agree to send troops to Cold Harbor. That would leave Cyrodiil unprotected. The guilds can lead the attack, but only if all three leaders agree. An interesting idea, but they need to stop bickering long enough to consider it. Why don't you visit each of them in their camps? See if you can reason with them individually. It all comes down to us again, doesn't it? Alright, well... Let's chat to the Countess first. Intractable fools. Their pride will see us all dead. Is the Fighters Guild any different? We've served as the first line of defense against Molag Bal's invaders, destroying his dark anchors all across Tamriel. They've succeeded in reducing their ranks and leveling half of Cyrodiil. What do you think? Would the Fighters Guild be willing to invade Cold Harbor? Willing and able. But, like the Mages Guild, we are constrained by a non-interference pact. The Alliances will only tolerate our presence in their realms if we remain neutral. Unless all three Alliance leaders consent to it, our hands are bound. Alright, that falls to us. Let's go chat to Jorun first. Save your breath. I will not be swayed by Emmerich's lapdog. We need to cooperate. But what about the war in Cyrodiil? If I commit troops to this invasion, the pact will be vastly outnumbered there. What if we send the guilds to Cold Harbor? <laughs> Wizards and mercenaries against the Daedric hordes. Without the Ebonheart Pact, they do not stand a chance. I don't see any other options. Perhaps. But I must think about this. Go! All this talk has given me a headache. Queen Irene. Your king needs to stop talking out of the side of his mouth. He has a lot of Dominion blood on his hands. We're not going to easily forget that, and we're certainly not going to fight by his side in Cold Harbor. There is an alternative. Is there? What did you have in mind? We could send the guilds into Cold Harbor. Hmm, perhaps. But we don't know enough about Cold Harbor to fully understand what they'd be up against. I don't see any other options. Nor do I, but I'll agree to nothing until I've conferred with my advisors. Now go annoy the others, I've had enough for one day. Where's Razumdar? Where are you Raz? I know you're around here somewhere. He's got to be here somewhere. Perhaps he's hiding in the shadows. All right. Well, maybe later. OK, 
King Emmerich. This meeting feels like two wolves and a sheep discussing what to have for dinner. I will not sit back and let them pick up my bones. I have a suggestion. That's more than I'm getting from them. What do you suggest? Send the guilds into Cold Harbor. I don't doubt their commitment or their bravery, but they are few. And Molag Baal's followers are legion. Do we have a choice? I don't see any other options. All right then. I'll agree, provided you can convince the Barbarian and the Child Queen. I don't envy you the task. They're more pig-headed than I am. Okay, I think we're good. They're all gonna have a little think, and then I'm sure they'll come back with a positive response. Any luck? Or are they still at an impasse? They're considering the idea, but they're not convinced. I hope they come to their senses soon. We're going to lose the element of surprise. They don't trust each other? With very good reason. But the sooner they come to an agreement that... Does the air feel strange to you? That's odd. All of a sudden it feels like a storm is approaching. A storm? Vanus, what's wrong? I have an ill feeling about this. <laughs> he... He has arrived. I can't. Caldian! What's happening? Go! Get away from me! Run! Uh oh. These are the great leaders of Tamriel. Pathetic. <laughs> but how convenient to have them gathered together in one place, so I can crush them like insects. Molot Ball! Stay back, Countess! The insects fight back! How amusing! Ah! And yet, so very sad. All of Nern shall be mine. Keldian! Protect the leaders, defeat Molag Val's minions, and close the unstable rifts. Let's do it! Are those balls? The feast is covered. Okay, she's down. Let's crack this thing. Alright, that's one. I'm coming! I'm coming! Come on, scold! Show us what you got! Oh, he got us with a title! The king's down? Get him with a shield barge. Must my weapon's still not showing up. What's up with that? He's down, he's down. Close it up. Emmerich. That's right, Skull King. Just cross your arms and wait while we get it all sorted out.
Hang in there, Emmerich. Ten percent. And down. Close it up. Emmerich hobbling along there. Agreed. There's no time to. Let's do that again. I thought we were safe here, hidden from the enemy. The god of schemes grows more powerful by the day. Then we must act quickly. Agreed. There's no time to waste. We must take the fight to him. Can you open a portal to Cold Harbor? Yes, at the Iliad Well at the center of the island. Perhaps his attack will convince the leaders to cooperate. After that terrible display of power, I don't think they have much choice. Honored leaders, you have seen the face of our enemy. Molag Ball threatens every living being in Tamriel. The Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild have agreed to join forces to launch an assault on Cold Harbor. Trust in us. Sanction our actions. Give us your blessings. We will not let you down. Vanos is right. The guilds are our best and only choice. Send them to Cold Harbor. I hate to admit it, but I agree with Emmerich. As do I. It appears that much of the distrust between our alliances was sown and nurtured by the God of Schemes. Molag Bal thrives on deception and chaos. But if you'll forgive me, this alliance war is of your own making. Countess Akruba, gather the surviving members of both guilds in the Stark interior. The Champion and I will go there now to open the portal. We'll be right behind you, Vanus. The time has come, Champion. Let's go! Let's go. My bags are full. <laughs> As a side note, uh, it's totally not important in all Vanus, but my bags are full. Stendar, protect us all! Oh, look at us go! We're as ready as we shall ever be. Is this everyone? Unfortunately, yes. It's not the massive army we'd hoped for. But now that Molag Ball knows we're coming, a smaller group might be our only hope of slipping into Cold Harbor undetected. Let's do this. It's difficult to predict where you will emerge once you reach Cold Harbor. Be on your guard, my friend. I'm ready. Let's go! The dreadful oblivion plain of Cold Harbor is a place of death, despair, and infinite cruelty. It is ruled by Molag Bal, the lord of brutality and domination, a Daedric prince dedicated to enslaving all the mortals of Nern. Hello, what's this? Oh, <laughs> Cadwell! Mr. John Cleese, how you going, buddy? Survive then, have you? Jolly good. Jolly good. Where is everyone? Rotten luck. They arrived in Cold Harbor, but in entirely different locations. Bloody unpredictable. Portals to oblivion. Not to mention Molog Ball's defenses. Nasty beasties abound. Off you go. Over the bridge and head inland. There's a good chap. 